If you're a fan of WordWall, you're gonna love this video. It's one of the most popular apps for learning languages, particularly vocabulary, great for teachers and for students. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the AI updates. Now, the AI updates haven't been applied to all the activities, but there is a trick which can mean that you can actually use it on many of the activities, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and most of all, I'd love to have a lot more of you that watch my videos actually subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So WordWall is one of the most popular language learning apps, both for teachers and for students. And as I've said, look, there's more than 95 million assets. If you don't know how to use WordWall, I'll put a link on the screen now to an introductory video that takes you through everything, because in this video, we're going to focus on the AI. We're going to click on Create Activity, and I just want to show you, for example, if I was to click on, let's say this one here, type the answer, you'll notice there's no AI option. I can't produce anything using AI. But if I quickly click back and I clicked on match up, there is generate AI content. So some of the activities have AI and some of them don't. However, there's a great trick and I'll show you it in this video. Let's click on generate content. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just writing in here something very, very simple that we can start with. So I've written in the instructions, I want it to generate a list of opposites, adjectives, and I want it to be at B level, B2 level in English, so it's sort of upper intermediate level. And let's see with that simple instruction whether or not it can generate the content and choose replace existing content because you want it to completely update your uh, template. And I've chosen 10 items. I click on the generate button and I'm hoping very quickly it's gonna generate that content and it has done. And I'm looking through here and I'm very pleased with the layout level of the content in terms of the vocabulary and also I really like the words as well really nice collection of words now a couple of little tricks that we can do straight away remember you can add audio to one of the columns so you can click here you do have to do this manually and then click on generate and it will generate the audio and then click on OK and then go to the next one. So you will have to do this. Obviously, you only have to do it once. Notice you can do this in multiple languages. Don't forget Word Will works in loads of languages, not just English. OK, so that can be really useful. Remember here, you can also swap the columns if you want to do that the other way around. Now, let's play this game and then I'm going to show you a brilliant trick. So to play the game, scroll down to the bottom and click on done. The game will open. Remember, if you want to share any activity that you generate with your students, just click on set assignment and then normally ask them for their name. Click on start and either share the link or share the QR code. That's another thing that you can do. Now, how can we let's just have a quick look at the activity first and see how it works. So this is quite a nice activity where we've got to basically drag the words in. OK, so this could be quite nice uh, as an activity type and then obviously submit the answers. Now, how could we use this, though, to generate more activities? Because at the moment, it looks like in Word War, we've only got a limited number of activities. This is the trick. What you can do is if you look over here on the right hand side, once you've generated an activity, you can actually switch the template. Now, if we click show all you'll notice actually that many, many of the templates can be used. And some of these don't directly offer the AI, but you can use the AI because you generate the activity as a matching activity and then you change it. So to give you an example, if I clicked on crossword now, this activity now would work as a crossword. Now I'm gonna show you one more trick in a minute, but let's just look at this. There we are, we've now got the crossword, and if we click on the word, we're gonna get the opposite, and then we've got to write, obviously, reliable, okay? So if I was now to just do this, just very quickly, just to show you how it would all work, okay? And then we correct it, and then it would move to the next one. Now, this is another trick that you can do, because maybe you wanna save this new version of the activity. At the moment, all you've done is switched the template. But what you might want to do is save this new activity so that actually you've now got two activities. How can you do that? 
Just a super quick break from the video just to say if you do like the video, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There are loads more free videos on the site. I specialize in making videos that show language teachers how to use technology. One other thing, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, then you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the key technologies that we can use in language teaching. There really are no tricks, nearly everything that I highlight is free. That was all, let's get back to the video. So the trick is to click on edit content. And then when you get to edit content, make sure you click on duplicate because it will then make a copy. And what I suggest you do is change the title and we're gonna call this one crossword because this is actually a crossword of adjectives. Now, if I click on done, and this is the really useful thing. So if I just scroll down here and click on done, and I'm not even gonna play the activity, but I'm gonna come back to my activities, you will now notice I have two activities made from that one AI activity. I've got the crossword here, and I've got the adjective. So it's really important to understand that you can't generate all of the activities using AI, but what you can do is choose an activity that does allow AI, and then you can generate content and then swap it over as a different template. So for example, if I just come back here to show you, if I came down to the activity for crosswords, let's see if actually directly you can create AI for the crosswords. If I click on here, you'll notice it's not there. So I hope you found that useful. Lots of tricks there, how to generate content with AI, how to switch it over and use a template, and then how to save it as well. Word will would definitely be in my top three uh, technologies for language learners, for teachers and for students. But I've got another couple of technologies that I really recommend. And one of them I'm gonna to highlight to you today. It's an incredible technology if you like watching YouTube videos because this technology will extract the transcript from any YouTube video in any language. It will then make it searchable. It will then make it uh, available so that you can edit and save particular words. But incredibly, that technology has ChatGPT embedded inside the technology. So you can generate loads of actions activities, for example, uh, summaries, multiple choice questions, true or false questions, gap fill, lists of vocabulary, lists of collocations, all because it will generate the transcript from the YouTube video and then because the chat GPT is embedded inside, it will generate content that you want. I highly recommend it. If you wanna watch that video, it's on the screen now and thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos, 
and live training. This training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.